A very good Thursday evening to you. I'm meteorologist Brian Donegan. It's a beautiful evening out there tonight. Step outside and get some fresh air tonight if you can. By 7, we'll be in the mid-70s under mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy by 9 at 71. We'll see clouds on the increase overnight, be it 68 by 11. So it'll be a warm night as those clouds increase and trap in the heating from today. Stepping outside right now for evening plans, it's 74 down in Tully, 73 Chittenango, 72 up in North Syracuse, up towards Oswego, it's 77 right now along the lakeshore, but inland in Oswego County, it's 69 in Fulton. Live Doppler 9, all is quiet right now across central New York, but earlier today we did see a few showers up north across Oswego County. One of those showers actually produced a water spout at uh, Southwick State Park. For tomorrow, though, we are watching a cold front out over the Great Lakes. You can see the front right around here over Michigan as there's a line of showers and thunderstorms pushing eastward. They'll work their way into central New York tomorrow morning, and they could impact the morning commute. For the evening, we'll drop into the upper 60s by 11, 69 or so, and then we'll warm into the mid-70s by tomorrow morning with the southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, when you're waking up, driving to work, a few spotty showers around central New York. We're at 75 in Syracuse. Then the front comes through. By lunchtime, 12 o'clock tomorrow, showers and storms are already pretty much to our east. You might see some showers and storms in places like Rome or Oneida at lunchtime tomorrow. But we'll move ahead to 5 o'clock for the ride home. And all of central New York is dry. The sun comes out, temperatures recover up to around 76 by late tomorrow afternoon. Here's what's coming our way for the weekend. We'll see an autumn preview on Saturday and Sunday as a jet stream dips south and we'll take a look at our weekend forecast. On Saturday, we'll plan your Saturday for you. We'll take a look. 7 a.m. we're starting the day at 58, so it'll be a cool start. We'll recover nicely though into the low to mid 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. For Sunday, even cooler to start, only 54 in the morning, but we do recover a couple degrees warmer than Saturday. We'll finish the day in the mid-70s, around 77 or so. So to recap, for tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms in the morning, 79 will be the high, probably in the morning. Saturday, we're cooler. We should be dry with sun and clouds, 74. Mid-70s on Sunday, beautiful day, sun and clouds. When we start the next work week, well, we'll be in the upper 70s, so temperatures still remain pleasant, but there could be a spotty shower or two on both Monday and Tuesday, but at 20%, most of us won't see it. It should be a mostly dry day. By Wednesday, we warm up in the 80s again, and for the start of the state fair on Thursday, we're up to 84 degrees, a warm one there. Have a great evening. I'm meteorologist Brian Donegan.